Oh. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know the vibes give it a thumbs up like 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 let's destroy that like button for this video bro this is breaking news and news i had no idea was the case all this time i thought tencent Tencent was like the top dog. They own like Fort. I think they like they have a big stake in like Fortnite, the shares, and, and they buy a lot of companies. But it looks like Sony is the largest video game company based on revenue, money, what matters the most. And it's not even close, bro. Check this out. The top 10 um, biggest video game companies in the world as of 2021. This is based on gaming revenue because we know Microsoft, they have um, operating systems and, and, and all of that other stuff. Sony, they have films and all that. But just based on gaming revenue, Sony tops the charts at 25 billion almost twice as much as second place Tencent. And Tencent is big in the mobile arena too, bro. But what was really telling was third and fourth place. Sony brings in more gaming revenue than Nintendo and Microsoft combined. And this is according to this information, but I thought this was very telling. Rounding out the top 10, you have Activision Blizzard, Electronic Arts, um, Epic, you have EA, Epic Games, Take Two, 2K, um, Sega, and at number 10 is Bandai Namco. And I already know what dudes are gonna say in the chat. Obi-Wan, why do you care about a game revenue you're not making any money with these companies bro this matters for us as gamers why do you think sony's locking in games like forespoken a game that looked amazing let's go to some gameplay this game looked absolutely amazing games like Final Fantasy 16. This is gonna be a huge console seller this year. Games like Kena Bridge of the Spirit, my second most anticipated game for this year. Why? Because their budget within their gaming revenue will allow them to do so. Yes, we can say Microsoft, Xbox has Microsoft, a trillion dollar company. But if you know how companies work, they operate on budgets and limitations. What you bring in is what you can typically spend out because they have to be accountable to investors and all the other stuff. Now I know about the financial stuff for some companies, but long story short, um, that's a big reason why when companies are able to bring in those massive revenues, um, bring in all that money, they could reinvest and things like this, Kena Bridge of Spirits, making it a console exclusive so that they can continue to sell more consoles, continue to expand their user base and continue to um, expand their market. And so I thought this was very, this actually opened my eyes. All this time I just assumed it was Tencent just because they're big in the mobile arena. They, um, they make big power moves and all these other games that I know of, these major games, Tencent has some stake in them. 
but it looks like Sony as of 2021. Now this is the latest, these are the latest numbers. Sony brings in more gaming revenue than Nintendo and Microsoft combined. Because dudes can say, well, the Switch is selling like crazy. But you gotta remember, it's a $300 console. Sony um, console is at 500 bucks. And so you sell two Switches, that's $600. You sell two PS5s, that's $1,000. That's a big, big um, difference. So I thought this was interesting, worth sharing. Bro, speaking of, uh, another example, Final Fantasy VII Integrate, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna talk about this new trailer. Final Fantasy Integrate, they're coming out with this new content, all new expansion for PlayStation 5. And the original game hasn't even launched on the Xbox One. All of this makes sense now. Um, I've heard, um, shout out to the homie Next Gen. I heard him say um, Xbox, um, they're, they're under a trillion dollar company, but they're the hobos of gaming <laughs> because of um, how Sonic is beating them with exclusives and content and so forth. Now this makes sense. This is why. Because of the money that they bring in bro they are killing it bro more revenue than xbox and nintendo combined speaking of final fantasy 7 integrate what you're watching right now is an all new trailer released by square enix that highlights the improvements and the upgrades that will be coming to the playstation 5 um this is coming from polygon um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake Integrate will see a complete visual enhancement over last year's game, tailored specifically to the PlayStation 5. The first half of the new trailer that y'all are watching right now focuses on improvements like fog effects, lighting, and textures. In addition to the graphical improvements, players can toggle between a graphics or performance mode in the settings. The graphics settings will offer 4K resolutions while the performance settings prioritize 60 frames per second over graphical fidelity. I always go performance, so I can't wait to um, play this. I did beat the original game, um, Final Fantasy VII Remake, on my PS4 Pro. My PS4 Pro can't wait to play Integrade on the 5, another, another dope game looking forward to playing this year they also have um, new features a new normal classic difficulty which involves more frequent pausing for in-game combat and the new difficulty would be a step up from the launch version of classic mode. all right and so more information a brand new trailer final fantasy integrate and if you bought the playstation 4 version you get final fantasy 7 remake for free on the PS5, but the integrate is a whole separate piece that you have to buy. So, this is dope, this is dope, this is dope. Next news item. This is big. And this could get a lot of digital folks a little worried, but I, I'm gonna tell you why you probably don't even need to worry. PlayStation is reportedly shutting down the PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, and Vita digital stores um i think the, the actual date is in july of 2021 july 2nd 2021 and then we're going to start seeing the closing of these stores and i know dudes are like ah ah especially my physical homeboys this is why you don't get digital games because they can just shut down the store and those games are gone forever it's a little bit the same for physical games because there are a lot of physical games that have long been off the market and even virtually impossible to find in some cases. And so even if you, if you go physical or digital, years after a console um, has, ex has lost its shelf life, years, decades, the PS3 is two generations ago uh, after a console has just gone out of sale it happens both on the digital and physical front. Now, it is a bummer, but you won't be able to do um, get any more digital games. But at this point, all of the games, digital games you wanted on your PlayStation 3, I'm sure you bought them already. And they at least give you a heads up. So if there are any last minute games that you want to get, 
go and get them now before July. But I did do some damage control for digital guys. I could admit it. It still sucks <laughs> that he won't be able to get games, especially because I'm thinking like console. I don't remember if the PlayStation 3 had an all digital version. But say you bought a PS5 all digital. 10, 15 years from now, they could so close the st stores when the PlayStation 8 is out. They're like, we're good on the PlayStation 5. Again, by that time, most guys are going to move on and don't even care. And I know Sony knows that people don't care. So this is just uh, smoke and mirrors, mad um, um, fans raging a news announcement. It is what it is. All right, dudes. Bro, those are all of the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.